Hello, everyone. My name is Alejandra Zuniga. I am a LACERS health advocate and welcome to the LACERS retiree medical, dental, and vision benefits presentation. Today, we'll be going over the medical and dental plans available to you as new retirees. We will discuss eligibility, benefits, costs, and location availability. Please keep in mind that if you are 65 or older, some of the plans that we discuss today will not apply to you or your situation. And if you are not in Medicare, some plans will not be available to you as they are Medicare exclusive. Specifically, we will discuss who can enroll, when and how to enroll, what your medical subsidy is, how much will your plans cost, and of course, what medical, dental, and vision plans are offered upon retirement. Let's get started. Let's start off with who is eligible to enroll in a LASERS health and dental plan. Well, that would be you. As the retiree who receives a monthly allowance from LASERS, you are eligible to enroll. You may also enroll your eligible dependents. Your dependents will include your spouse or domestic partner who should either be registered with LASERS or with your state. Your dependent children either under, age of, under the age of 26 or 26 or older under certain conditions, as well as dependent grandchildren. Now, when should you enroll? At the time of retirement, a health counselor will be assigned to you and will contact you directly to discuss your options. You have 60 days from your retirement effective date to enroll. You can also make changes during our annual open enrollment period. This is typically between October 15th and November 15th and will always have an effective date of January 1st of the following year. And as always, if you experience a qualifying life event, you can make changes or enroll within 30 days of that event. You may also wonder if you enroll, when will my coverage begin? Coverage should begin the first of the month following your retirement effective date or the first of the month following the processing of your enrollment request. For example, if you retire on November 15th, our LACERS benefits will go into effect on December 1st. And if you happen to retire on the first of the month, your benefits, your LACERS benefits will begin the same day. How to enroll. It's very, very important to review all health information. After you review the premiums, the subsidies, deductions, and all benefit information provided to you in the benefits, in the health benefits guide, you should contact LACERS or download our enrollment film forms online to fill out. If you plan on applying for retirement using the applica retirement application portal, you can download them from there as well. And you'll find that at retire lasers.org. You should complete all applicable sections of the forms and please make sure that you sign and date them because forms without a web signature are not valid. Once you submit your forms, LACERS will confirm that they have been received. One thing that you should also know is that you can actually cancel your plan at any time for any reason. You can also remove any dependents at any time. Simply contact LACERS and request the appropriate forms to be sent to you via either email or mail. I previously mentioned the importance of reviewing your subsidies and deductions. To better understand these, let's dive into what is a subsidy and do you qualify? A subsidy is a monthly dollar credit applied to the cost of your medical plan premium. The premium is the actual monthly cost of the coverage for you and your dependents. In order to be eligible to receive a subsidy, you must be at least 55 years old and have a minimum of 10 full years of service. And of course, be enrolled in one of our sponsored plans or be a participant of the medical premium reimbursement program. If your subsidy is less than your monthly premium, the balance is deducted from your retirement monthly allowance. Also, a note to our part-time members, 
If you are part-time, please contact LACERS to discuss your eligibility. With that in mind, let's take a look at this year's subsidy amount for those of you who are under 65, not in Medicare or with Medicare Part B only. The maximum subsidy amount is $1,884.50. And this is a subsidy given to members who have 25 or more years of service credit. Take a look at how many years of service you have and you'll be able to determine what your subsidy is. If the plan you choose just happens to cost less than your allotted subsidy, the remaining amount can be applied to cover your dependents. But if you have no dependents, it cannot be given to you in the form of cash, nor can it be added to your monthly benefit. All right, well, now that you know your subsidy amount, what plans are available for you to choose from? For those of you who are under 65, not in Medicare, we offer three plans. Anthem Blue Cross PPO, Anthem Blue Cross HMO, and Kaiser Permanente HMO. Our two HMO plans are for California only. So that means if you plan to move out of state upon retirement, your only option is either the Anthem PPO plan or the Medical Premium Reimbursement Program. While we won't really be discussing the Medical Premium Reimbursement Program today, if you are interested in learning more information about that, please contact LACERS to discuss, um, to discuss your options. Another note, if you also intend to live out of the country upon retirement, please contact LACERS to discuss the out-of-country plan option. You should also keep in mind that these plans are completely different plans than the current active city employee plans that you may have right now. While they are comparable, you should still review all information and all evidences of coverage provided on our LACERS website. So now let's talk about the difference. You may ask, what's the difference between the HMO and the PPO? Well, a PPO or a preferred provider organization allows you the flexibility to choose your physician or facility that accepts your insurance. While a health maintenance organization or an HMO requires that you receive all your covered services from the plan's network of doctors and hospitals. Here are some of the key differences. Most notably, the PPO has a $750 deductible. Now, a deductible is not a charge, but it is the amount you must pay for healthcare expenses before the insurance begins to cover any costs. Both plans have a $20 copay for routine office visits. Inpatient and outpatient surgery is not charged with the HMO, but on the other hand, with the PPO, the plan will pay 90% after you have met your $750 deductible. Your HMO plan will require referral to see a specialist. That means you'll have to go through your primary care physician, while your PPO plan does not require that. The cost of these plans uh, will vary depending on your years of service credit. This table will show you the cost that you pay depending on your years of service credit for a one-party plan. This is just if you want to enroll yourself. You'll find your years of service credit, pick the plan that you want, and you'll be able to see your monthly deduction. But what if you want to enroll yourself plus a dependent? This can be your spouse, domestic partner, perhaps a child, just yourself and another dependent. Well, this table will show you the cost of a two-party plan based on your years of service credit. I'll give you a moment to view. So we've just discussed the plans and options for those who are under 65. But what if you are over 65 and will only have Medicare Part B? So only Part B. Well, the options are actually the same as those we've just discussed. However, you will have additional prescription coverage through the plan of your choice. This means that if you choose the Kaiser plan, you will be enrolled in the Kaiser Senior Advantage plan with 
additional prescription coverage. Moving on, for those of you who are over 65 or who will have Medicare Parts A and B, so both A and B, we offer four senior advantage plans. The plans are the Anthem Blue Cross Medicare Preferred PPO plan. This plan is available nationwide and US territories. Kaiser Permanente Senior Advantage plan, this plan is only available in California. The Scan Health plan, also only available in California, and United Healthcare Medicare Advantage Plan. This plan is available in California, Arizona, and Nevada. For those of you with Medicare Parts A and your subsidy is calculated a little differently. We will account for your years of service and the one party premium of the senior plan that you choose. This is an example of the cost of a one-party plan. If you'd like to know how much a two-party plan or even a family plan can cost you, please contact LACERS and we can provide you a copy of our health benefits guide, which details costs of your particular situation. So you'll see the four senior advantage plans here, along with costs that you would pay out of pocket depending on your years of service credit. Let's take a look at some of the differences between these four plans. So some, four, so some key features of them is that your office visits can range from zero with the Anthem Blue Cross Medicare Preferred PPL. You can have no copay for your visits. Or if you're in Kaiser or United Healthcare, your copay can be $15. So it can range. Um, you can see the differences here. Your urgent care copay would be zero with the uh, Anthem Blue Cross Medicare Preferred PPL plan. Whereas if you're with Kaiser or United Healthcare, it would be $15 or 10 with scan. Your prescriptions can also range from as little as $5 for a generic prescription to 10 to 10 to $15, depending on what plan you choose. You'll actually notice that inpatient and outpatient surgery all across the board is no charge. Some additional benefits or some additional perks of being enrolled in a senior advantage plan is that they offer what are called enhanced services. Enhanced services depend on an individual need as determined by the respective plans and your physician. Uh, the information here is simply a brief summary and it is not a comprehensive description of the available benefits. Uh, please review the evidence of coverage of all these plans uh, on our LACERS website but we'll discuss a couple of them. If you choose to enroll in the SCAN Health Plan, SCAN will offer you unlimited taxi rides to and from your doctor's visits. They'll offer you unlimited home delivered meals per event, and you can pay a $15 copay to have someone visit your home for like housekeeping, laundry, dressing, grocery shopping, et cetera. SCAN will cap this at $650 per month. If you are an Anthem Blue Cross Medicare Preferred PPO enrollee, Anthem will offer you 12 one-way trips per year to and from the doctor or the pharmacy. They will provide you up to 14 meals for no charge per event. And they will also provide you with visits with like housekeeping, laundry, bathing, and dressing. However, these are paid by claims and they cap it at $100 per day. An additional benefit of being enrolled in a senior advantage plan is the access to a free gym membership. If you are enrolled in Anthem, SCAN, or United Healthcare, you have access to Silver Sneakers. Silver Sneakers is a health and fitness program that includes access to gyms and fun exercise classes for all fitness levels. And if you are a Kaiser Senior Advantage enrollee, you have access to Silver and Fit which provides easy access to fitness centers that have tailored classes for older adults. Let's go over some important Medicare information now. LACERS requires that you enroll and maintain your LACERS Part B enrollment and Part A as well if it's premium free. Members who are enrolled in a LACERS medical plan and Medicare Parts A and B will receive the ba Medicare Basic Part B premium reimbursement. You are the one that's responsible for paying your Medicare Part B premiums. 
Lasers will not pay, nor will Lasers deduct your Medicare premiums from your monthly retirement allowance. Let's talk about uh, what is IRMA. IRMA is an income related monthly adjustment amount. So this is the amount that you pay in addition, so on top of your Part B or Part D premiums if your income is over a certain threshold. IRMA is determined annually by the income you report to the IRS and your IRMAs are determined by Medicare. They're not determined by LACERS. You are responsible for paying these additional amounts to remain eligible for your LACERS health benefits. LACERS will not reimburse your IRMA premiums. Now, the question is, how do you know how much is your IRMA, what your premium is gonna be, or what parts of Medicare that you will qualify for? We kindly ask that you please contact Social Security and Medicare by either calling or going online. You can also make an account on ssa.gov, and when you're ready, begin the Medicare application process there. Let's move on to dental. So what dental plans are available for you upon retirement? Well, we offer two. Uh, we have Delta Care USA HMO and Delta Dental PPO. The PPO plan is available for you to use across the United States and its territories. While the Delta Care HMO plan is only available in California and certain zip codes of Nevada. Much like your medical subsidy, the requirement to receive a dental subsidy from LACERS are as follows. You have to be at least aged 55, have a minimum of 10 full years of service, and of course be enrolled in one of our, sorry about that, and of course be enrolled in one of our dental plans. Dental subsidies are not provided for dependents or eligible survivors. Let's go over some of the key differences between these two plans offered. You'll notice that for both plans, the cleanings and exams and x-rays are actually covered at 100%. So they are exactly the same. But the major difference between these two plans are what providers you can go to. With a PPO plan, you are free to select your dentist of choice. But on the other hand, with the HMO, Delta Care will assign you to a provider based on your location. You are also able to change your assigned provider to another one if they are a network but you can only do this one time per month, once a month, and it will be effective on the first of the month. Another key difference is that the HMO plan will not cover dentures or implants, while the PPO plan will cover 50% of the cost. And also keep in mind that you can change your plan options every year during open enrollment. So if you try out one plan, you don't like it, the following year during open enrollment, you can switch. Here's the chart of the monthly cost based on your years of service. You'll find the amount of years that you have, choose what kind of plan you want, whether it's a one party, two party, or family plan. You scroll down and you'll find the price that you will pay out of pocket. Last but not least, we'll discuss your vision benefits. If you are enrolled in a Kaiser plan, you will receive vision benefits directly from Kaiser. Kaiser will allot you $150 every 24 months for glasses or contacts, one or the other. Your exam copay will range from $15 to $20 depending on your Medicare status. And if you are enrolled in the in, in Anthem plan, in a SCAN plan, or the United Healthcare plan, either one of those three plans, you will receive vision benefits from Anthem Blueview. Anthem Blueview will also allot you $150 every month, uh, every 24 months for eyeglasses or contacts, one or the other. And your copay with it, if you go to an in-network provider for your exam will be $20. This concludes the presentation. I hope that you have a better understanding of the medical and dental vision plans offered. I know you may still have a lot of questions, so please use the Q&A function to enter your questions and we'll try to answer them all. 
All evidences of coverage for each plan that I have discussed today is available on lasers.org. Uh, this is uh, the health benefits guide for 2022. If you'd like a copy, please contact LASERS to request one. You can reach us by calling our 800 number and speaking with our member services center. If you have health related questions, please ask to speak, please ask to speak with a health advocate. You may also send any questions you may have to lasers.health at lasers.org and a health advocate will get back to you. Any other questions or inquiries, you can send them to lasers.services at lasers.org. So at this time, we'll go ahead and enter your questions during the at the at the Q&A window. Thank you, Alejandra. Very informational and very well delivered, by the way. Okay, so we do have some questions here. Um, Alejandra, if you'd like, I can go ahead and um, let's see, read those out loud. Sure, I can see them. You can see them, okay. How much, all right, let's see. Ms. Noemi asks, how much to enroll in part A and part B if age is 65? So upon your 65th birthday, uh, if you are gonna retire around the age 65, like I said, please, we, we encourage you to please contact Social Security, the Social Security Administration. The cost of your Part B premium will depend on your income, so it will not be the same for everyone. The basic premium reimbursement uh, for the year of 2022 was $170 with 10 cents. Uh, that, can, that can change every year, so it won't be the same every year. All right, Mr. Saul asked, is dependent still covered if retiree passes away? That's a great answer, that, that's a great question. And uh, if your dependent is a child, then no. But if your dependent is your spouse, then it would, it, it would depend on, how, on your situation. So your spouse would have to be eligible for a continuance. Um, the, the answer is it, it depends. So uh, please contact LASERS and we can discuss your particular situation. An anonymous attendee said, can you give an example of a typical LA city retiree healthcare cost? Sure, uh, a typical LA city retiree cost. Well, let's go back to the charts and we can draw up an example. So we can do dental. A typical example is someone with a family. Let's say you have a family and you have four kids and you've worked for the city, let's say 20 years, and you need to cover all your kids with dental because they may need braces. You take your 20 years of service, you want the family plan, you'll see here that the PPO co plan will cost you $110 per month with 88 cents, and the HMO plan will cost you $20.51. Per month, so you. Oh, I apologize. The lights in my office just turned off. There. So it, it really depends on what your needs are. So in this case, you will look at the chart to see what benefits are offered. You'll see of here, going on in the example, you have two kids. You'll right see right here the differences with with um, braces. This, this is orthodontia braces. So there's that. That's your example. Or if you want a medical plan for you and your spouse. Typical cost can be, we'll find the charts right here, here for two people. So this, this is an example for uh, two people who are under 65. If you have worked for the city for let's say 15 years and you want to enroll in the Kaiser plan, the Kaiser will cost you right here, $669 per month and 78 and 78 cents. So that is a typical, that's typically what it would be. Let's see, another question. How does the out-of-state reimbursement work for states that don't have a LASERS health plan? Mr. Owens, Willie, that's a great question. Uh, the, you would likely want to look into the, medic, the medical premium reimbursement program. The medical premium reimbursement program works by claims. This means that you will find your own, you will do your own research, you will find your own health plan, you will pay for your own premiums out of your pocket, and LASER, you'll 
file, send the claims to LACERS, and LACERS will give you a reimbursement depending on your subsidy. But please contact LACERS, uh, ask to speak with a representative that can give you more information regarding the medical premium reimbursement program. Does anyone have any other questions? An anonymous attendee asked a question, okay. For California only Blue Cross HMO or Kaiser HMO, does that mean I need to have a primary residence in California or can I live in other states and go intermittently to California for my health care visits and needs? Your permanent residence, if, if your permanent residence is in California, then you will be enrolled in a California plan. Uh, if your permanent residence is not in California, then LACERS cannot enroll you in a California-only plan. Mr. David asks, does monthly allowance deduction equal what it is out of pocket each month? Yes. When we talk about a deduction, a deduction is exactly what is going to come out of your retirement allowance. We discussed the premium. The premium is the actual cost of the plan. It's the total cost. For example, for staying on this slide, a two-party plan for Anthem, the premium is the $2,670. That's the premium. And you pay, depending on your service, minus your subsidy, it would be the amount. So yes, your monthly allowance deduction, a deduction is what comes out of your pocket. How do I get information regarding health insurance for out of country? Uh, an anonymous attendee asked. So LACERS offers a one out of the country plan. Uh, please contact LACERS. Uh, you can send us an email at lacers.health at lacers.org and we can send you more information or schedule a phone call to discuss with you. Okay, Ms. Angelica asks, how about if we just want to switch to a city plan, even if he is still employed? Could we sign up for new coverage at the next open enrollment without a qualifying event? All right, so just to clarify, these benefits are only available if you are a retired city employee. These are the benefits that you will enroll in after you've retired. So after you've submitted your retirement application, your coverage would begin the following month from your retirement effective date. So the city plan and whatever city plan that you are enrolled in, those benefits will be terminated. Let's see, someone says, Mr. Sandy said, if I am asking this question for my coworker, if he has only 21 credits, but he is deceased, wife has more than enough Will he, will he still have to pay for Part B? If he is deceased, will he have to pay for Part B? No. No. Why, why don't you send us an email at lacers.health at lacers.org? Uh, have your coworker send us an email, and we'd be happy to answer and discuss your particular situation. An anonymous attendee asked, when is annual open enrollment for the health and dental? So our open enrollment is typically between October 15th and November 15th. And this is a time where you can make any changes, you can cancel your plans, choose a different plan. And this will always have an effective date of January. So just because you submit your documents and reprocess them during October and November, doesn't mean that the coverage will have a change then. The coverage won't come into effect until January. So to answer that question, 
it is between October and November. Someone, an anonymous attendee asked, is a spouse also eligible for a scan health plan? Well, uh, a, if, if your spouse is over 65 and if your spouse enrolled in Medicare Parts A and B, then, and, and if you are going to be enrolled in SCAN, then yes, your, if you are enrolled in SCAN and, you're, and you have Medicare Parts A and B and your spouse also has Medicare Parts A and B, then yes, both of you can be in SCAN. What is, an anonymous attendee asked, what is the impact of Medicare Part A on the premium? Medicare, Medicare will let you know what the premium for Part A is. We don't require you to enroll in Medicare Part A, or we do require that you enroll in Medicare Part B. Uh, you, you should maintain your Medicare Part A enrollment if it is premium free, but please contact uh, the Social Security Administration to determine what your premiums would be. Not everyone's premiums will be the same. Ms. Noemi asked, can you show the schedule for 65 and over? Sure. So I will show the, the payment chart for 65 or older for members who are in Medicare Parts A and B. So here are the four senior advantage plans offered for members 65 and older in Medicare Parts A and B. You have the four plans to choose from. In the blue column, you'll see the premium. And depending on your years of service credit, you'll see the amount that you pay out of pocket. This is for a one party plan. Uh, we do have charts for a two party plan. So please request a copy of the Lacer's Health Benefit Guide to see, to see those charts. But here's um, a brief chart that you can see what your monthly cost would be. An anonymous attendee asked, do you have costs for health coverage with two or more dependents. So yes, that is a family plan. Well, I did not include any family plan charts here in this presentation. We do have those charts available in the health benefits guide. Uh, please send an email to lasers.health at lasers.org uh, and we can send you a copy of the health benefits guide and I can tell you what pages you can find the family plans on. All right, Ms. Danica asks, does, does the premium cover my spouse as well, or do I need to double it? Uh, the, the premiums will depend on the, on the party. So right here, you see this one is retired member only. So this is only for a one party plan. Uh, you can see the charts for a two party plan that you'll see for your spouse. So you, you don't need to double it. Um, we have charts that'll show you the, the cost of it. Let's see, Mr. Saul asked, can a retiree be enrolled in a spouse's active health plan while enrolled with a retirement health plan? So Mr. Saul, you're trying to have double coverage. So you can be enrolled, if you're under 65, you can be enrolled in your, if your spouse is working for the city, your spouse can cover you as a dependent uh, and you can have double coverage under certain circumstances. Uh, if you'd like to discuss your particular scenario, send us an email at lasers.health at lasers.org. From Mr. Francois asked, once we sign up for Medicare Parts A and B, can we get reimbursed for the premium without signing up for LACER's medical plans? That's a great question, Mr. Francois. The answer is no. You have to be enrolled in a LACER's plan to receive the LACER's Part B premium reimbursement.
Mr. David asked, how can I find a zip code for Nevada and United Healthcare HMO? Uh, send, send us an email at lasers.health at lasers.org. Include your zip code and we can check for you and let you know. An anonymous attendee asked, is this a schedule for our two parties here as well? This one that you see on the screen is not for two people. It's only for one person. This, so this is the cost associated with a one with one person. Those are all the questions that I see. Mr. Gant asked, is the spouse covered by the dental? Well, would you like to cover your spouse? Let's take a look at the uh, price chart for that, actually. We can see here. So if you would like to cover your spouse, you would be looking at this middle chart right here, depending on your years of service. Let's say that you have 20 years of service, covering yourself and your spouse would be uh, either one of these two options. So you, you can pay $65 a month with PPO or $16 a month with 11 cents for the HMO. So here you'll see retired member only, that's just if you wanna cover yourself, retired member and one dependent, this can be your spouse, this can be your child, but just yourself and one other dependent, or the retired member and your family. So this would be yourself, your spouse, maybe a child. So here's the price chart for that. All right, Mr. Rolando, that's a good question. Your session invite shows lasers.me at lasers.org. Uh, no, can you, can you please direct your questions to lasers.health at lasers.org and a health advocate like myself can see that and reply to your message. So uh, please send your please send any additional questions with your specific scenarios to lasers.health at lasers.org. An anonymous attendee asked, is the Nevada zip code coverage both available for Blue Cross HMO and Kaiser? So the answer is no. Kaiser is only available in California and Blue Cross HMO and the Blue Cross HMO is also only available in California. Okay, so it looks like that's it for now. If, if we didn't get to answer your question, please send an email to lasers.health at lasers.org and we're happy to either schedule a call with you or answer any specific questions you may have. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alejandra. And we wanna thank you all today for attending our webinar. We love, love, love when you take the time to learn more about your benefits. We want you to, if you, if you have any questions, please contact us. And for now, we wanna wish you well, be well and stay safe. Thank you all. Bye-bye.